Okay, we're waiting on Mandy to get here. We just came up to the double E18. Here she comes. And as soon as she gets up here, we'll go ahead and get down the road. Come on! Put that thing in third gear! Put it in third gear! What gear you got that thing in? You're going pretty slow in third gear. You're going to burn the engine up. Well, you know, you need to go a little faster. Okay, so we're on this other road going to the other mine, one of the other mines that I found. And uh, when I say found, I'm talking about on uh, Google Earth. So, so far, Google Earth was right. Now, when you get on Google Earth looking for this type of stuff, you got to know what you're looking for uh, because it's pretty easy to miss, if that makes any sense. And you've got to know what you're looking for on the landscape to find what you want to find. So it's not as easy as you think. Uh, looks like we're running into an obstacle up here that we're going to probably have to go around. Uh, we'll check it out when we get up here. But there's actually two more mines up here that we're going to find. So we're going to go see what this is all about. We're probably going to go through the gate. We probably will go through the gate. Yeah. So, uh, this is actually where the other two mines are down this road here. But we just ran into this obstacle with this gate and it has doesn't just have one lock there's actually two on there and it doesn't look like anybody's been here in a very this thing ain't been open in a long time so I don't think we're gonna be able to go in there oh hell no <laughs> yeah no there ain't there ain't no way Jose, that anybody is going to be going through here with little mini bikes like what we have. No way. Now, if we can hop them over these rocks, we can do it. Look. All you do is hop over them rocks and then come right through here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then you'll never get it out. There you go. We can do it now. Watch out. So if we come up here... I don't think that'll pop the tire right there. No. We can hop it up right here. And then come through here. Like that. And we should be able to just go right up there. What do you think, Batwoman? Think we can get through the cave? Let's give it hell. Alright, take it easy. You got it, come on. You got any first or second? First. You got it, come on. You got it. Be careful. Easy. Alright, that's probably the hardest part. I think she can make it. There you go. Get that mini bike in gear. Buscadero. Buscadero. Only on a Buscadero can this happen. Go this way. I didn't put that there. That was there. I didn't put that there. Go this way. Watch that stick. Let me get that stick out of your way. Don't move. You'll flip your bike. 
Just hang on. Buscadero girl. That's a root. You're gonna have to hop over it. Lift the front end up. There you go. Buscadero girl, doing a good job. Let's go. Okay, easy. Mini and our Buscadero. Now, can you make it up there? Or... Go ahead. You got it. You don't think you'd be better off going that? All right, come on. Maybe you're right, maybe you're right. Go ahead. Okay, here she goes. This is a buscadero, people. This is what you can do with these things. It's not just a mini bike to hot riding around on. Watch the fall, watch the drop. Okay, looky there. Look at that, people. Hi. Hi. That's what I call Buscadero action. What do you think of your Buscadero? You like it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, let's not go into that right now, please. Okay. All right. All right, let me get my bike through there and then we'll uh, see where we're at. I'll be right back. So now we get to see it on a first person view action of what really happens when you're going through here. And let me tell you, it is actually it's actually a little scarier than you think. I can tell you that. I'm actually standing up on the tank. Okay. Now one thing about my bike versus hers, my bike is actually taller. Here we go. Over the stump. Now I'm going to just get stuck. Okay. Did it get yours pumping? Oh heck yeah man, that was scary shit. It doesn't look like much, but when you're on that bike, let me tell you. Oh my god. It's something. Now we gotta go back. Going back would be easy, it's it's downhill. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. That was fucking shit, man. Let's okay, go. we're in here. Let's get down the road. Alright, let's go. And get caught. Exactly. So we're illegally in the mining district. I'm gonna see what's over here. It looks like we fucked up and there's actually a road here and it looks like we could have came in this way on the road there's a road right here where everybody comes okay so let's get down the road and see what we got here before we get caught in this place it's actually holiday weekend so uh oh what's going on are right, you ready? Go ahead of me! So we're probably going to go back through the road to get out of here. And uh, let's follow the road down 
Um, there's going to be a mine over to our left. And that's what I want to see first. I want to see that mine over to the left and see what's going on. Uh, there hasn't been anybody out here in a long time. Now, I do see more cow shit. So that is cow shit, not bear shit. We were wrong. But, uh... Looks like you got a washout right here. And here's another washout. So we're going to go ahead and do what we got to do. And I think the only reason there's tracks that come in here is they let the cattle in here. This is where the cattle uh, graze. So I think we'll be safe in here. I don't think anybody's going to uh, do anything. We're not going to get in trouble in any way whatsoever. But we do want to try to find these other two mines. Now, we might not find them. I'm just going to let you know. We might not find them. Um, because one of the mines is basically at the end of the road. It's at the end of the trail. And we're talking way over that way there. So we might not find that one. But hopefully this road will take us down to the one that's on the face of the side of this hill. And that's what I'm looking to look for. And maybe we might be able to find that other mine, I think, uh, by looking on Google Earth. Once we get to the mine on the wall, we kind of cut through that, and then there's a road that takes us to the other one. So let's go ahead and see where this leads. And I'm hoping it takes us to that mine. If you look over here to the uh, right of me, you're going to see where there's like a cable fence built along this edge. Um, I've never seen that before. Uh, I guess it's for safety. I don't know, so you don't fall off the edge. But uh, I've never seen that before on a road that led to a mine. That's the first time I ever saw that. So I think we found us a big find here. We're going to go check it out. I don't know if there's going to be a mine opening, but there is a lot of remnants of mine exposure in the area. And there's the mine shaft right over there. And there's a big sign on the top that says safety first. So the mine is up here. And we are going to park right here. Just like this. And then we are going to go venturing. Okay, look what we just found. Of course, I'm sure it's blocked off, but we'll be able... Yep. This is like... Uh, this is one of the most complete mines we've seen with railroad tracks and all. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I can already tell we're not going to be able to go in the mine. I can tell you that right now. Let's see what this is over here that they got boxed off. It looks like a mine shaft of some sort that they blocked off. And we don't want to go in there. That was probably a fresh air duct of some sort. Can you see how they got it yeah. buried? Yeah. Uh, I bet you a hundred bucks that's probably a sinkhole. Yeah. More than likely. That's a giant sinkhole is what that is. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. We did find the mine. We won't be able to go in this mine. That actually sucks. There's nothing we can do. But we did find it. And it is here, and I can feel the cool air blowing on me. Do you want to give me my uh, Geiger counter, please? It's in that first compartment. Oh. And this is climbing very... It says zero. This is climbing pretty high. It's already up to 100. And look what's inside here, Minnie. There's a train car. There's a mining car inside. On the track. Wow. We're up to 613. What is that? Wow. Look at that. I've never seen a machine, piece of machinery in the mine. We're up to 1,050. We're going to... 
we're not going to stay here long people but uh, I do want to get a good view of what's going on here and you can see right here the view is looking dangerous so we got a lot of action here people a lot of action going on look at this and as we come over here I want to go ahead and put the camera right here just like that and we got a piece of mining equipment and we don't just have one there's a whole bunch down there look at that I don't know if you can see that or not there is mining equipment that goes all the way in there wow it's like a whole train a whole train of mining equipment stuffed inside there that is pretty awesome that is pretty awesome people pretty awesome I don't want to stand here too long and I'm going to show you why because we're up to 1900 CPM so we're not going to go any closer the radiation coming off of that uh, is pretty high it's a pretty good find huh yeah oh yeah pretty cool yeah we haven't ever found this much equipment left well, not this much Oh, okay, look what's hole. going on right here. Yeah, Here's another. another one over there. Don't but, walk yeah, look there. at this hole right here. See how that thing is sinking. No, we don't, definitely don't. I don't know if it's a hole because that weight's on it, but we don't want to walk on it. Don't we don't know what that is right there. This is a compressor. Uh, I'll bet you this is the compressor. If you look right here, this is what pumps fresh air. Look at that pipe right there. All right, so I hope you're enjoying this little video set. We've actually found two mines today. We're probably not going to go to the other one. The other one is actually about two miles away. And I really have to study the map a little better to understand where to go. Because these roads, there's so many roads out here that you can really get lost if you don't know what you're doing. So we're probably going to pass on the third mine today. So it looks like somebody drove up in here. Uh huh. Yeah. It's been a long time because look how high the weeds are in the middle. Uh huh. Look at this. So what do we got over here? That's a big fan. We got a big fan. Yeah. You know what that's for, right? That's for part of the air compressor system. That's what uh, takes the moisture and oil out of the. Yeah. Yeah. That's a. That's for their cows. I told you that they bring their cows up here see so we can't go in the mine I really don't want to go in that mine but we can look around here and see what kind of relics there are watch nails yeah, I'm gonna let you, see that. It's too many stickers. you don't want to go in no, I'll let you do that. okay well sorry that you want to miss out I'm not telling you, you don't want to come in here. So this is basically their storage room. And you can see where they block the door off so people like me can't come in here. But then on the other hand, look what I just got. I just opened the door. So What? I said that's my cue. For what? To come in and look. No, 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 you can't. It, it, no, it's off limits to you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> there oh, ain't wow. nothing. Couplers. There ain't nothing. Lots of couplers. A lot of couplers. Look at all the couplers. Okay, so we're in the storage room of the maintenance building. And the main thing that I see in here is probably oil filters. It says fuel filter kit. So there you go, fuel filter kits, and there's an air filter for an 18-wheeler or possibly that tank outside, that compressor outside, and that's all that's in here. And you know what else is in here? Poop. Rat shit. So let's walk around over here and see what we've got, and then we're going to go look over there, and then I think we're done. So just another part of the facility. This is a compressor. And it's a Gardner Denver. 
Look at that. Gardner Denver GD. Gardner Denver pump. And this is what pumps the air right here. And I wouldn't be surprised if this uh, mine can actually run again. And I definitely don't want to mess with none of that. Look at that, 460 volts. This is the starter control for compressor. Look at that, that box. That's the starter control box for this air compressor, people. And look at this air compressor. This thing looks almost brand new. I am not bullshitting you. Look at, look at how uh, well taken care of this is. This is not an old air compressor. And here's the tag, if we can read any. There's model numbers, serial numbers. And when it was made, I don't know. Serial number, maximum operating press. Uh, pressure 100 whatever that is so yeah this thing here this thing here is still in working condition look at the generator on that the engine and the motor sorry not an engine a motor that actually runs this thing I'll get a picture of that tag so you can read it look at that and that's going to tell us how many horsepowers and all that freaking humongous so there you go, Gardner Denver. Here's another part of it right here. Wow. Unbelievable. And I will tell you something else. That electricity is actually running. I can hear the transformers. I know, there's electricity on over here. Okay, what many just said is that the lights are on. There's lights on. So this is a this is a facility that is not really abandoned at all. So what we're going to do is get on our bikes and get the hell out of here and head back to the truck. I see the lights on. I know. Okay, I, if you go over to the transformers, you can hear them running. You ready to head back? All right, let's get out of here. All right, as we were actually leaving the O mine, uh, we came across another opening here that I didn't see. And what we came across is actually another mine opening. Wow. So let's go over to this mine opening and see what we got. We don't have the Geiger counter out, but it is not, I don't think this is a mine opening. I think this is a storage facility. I think it's a storage facility that they used to keep all the dynamite. And yes, that's exactly what it is. It is a storage facility. Just like I thought. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and head back to the truck. It's getting late. And... I hope you like this little journey, this little adventure, mine hunting with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl, and we're heading out. Take it easy, and happy trails, people. Happy trails. Minnie and her Buscadero. How do you like that Buscadero? I like it. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's get down the road. Okay, we're going to see if Minnie can make it through here. We're at the end of the trail. What? Come on. You can do it. Come on. You want me to do it? Don't you think you ought to go ahead of me so you can get those branches for me? So Manny the Body Shop Girl says, no, I'm not taking my Buscadero through here. I don't want to flip over. And I'm not used to this little thing. So we're going to see if we can do this. Of course, baby, let me do, do what I got to do. That's exactly what I was going to do if you get out of the way.
through these branches and over. You want to go ahead of me? Nah, forget that. Just go. Go ahead of me. Okay, so I'm actually... I'm walking the bike. There we go. And you can see we're standing up and walking through. And I don't want the bike to take off on me. I might need your help. Watch out. Okay, I got it through. I literally had to walk it through there, but we got it. You couldn't have got it back. You did a good job t getting it in there. <sighs> 